Here we are again with Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 2 and yeah I rewatched Episode 1 to get the information straight because there was so much information and to refresh my mind about Attack on Titan a little, a little bit. So the island where Eren and all the others lived and where Season 1, 2, 3 played was Paradise Island, right? And so 9 years ago, I think, it's 9 years ago, um, Reiner, Annie and Berthold got sent to Paradise Island to re- or to take back the founding titan which Dr. Jaeger had, or now Eren, and they failed that mission and lost the female titan and the colossal titan, obviously we know that, and that basically weakened Marley, because Marley was known for the military strength, with which was a big part about the titan powers, the nine, and because of that the whole war started, because they were weakened, because they lost two titans, which makes me wonder, was it nine years ago? Because they said the war is going on for four years. So the mission to take the founding titan back was nine years ago. So did the mission, so five years after they went on the mission, did then the war started or nine years and then time skip four years. So we are like four years ahead of where season three ended. That's something I don't know. Um, but it, because they got weakened because they lost titans, uh, other countries or whatever started attacking Mali, like the Middle Eastern Federation. And yeah, because of that also, like, people don't really fear Titans anymore that much, it seems like, because, I guess, part ways, because they have, like, anti-Titan ammunition and stuff like that, that can kill Titans with one shot. But yeah, Mali loses their power right now, <clears throat> because they lost Titans, and... That's why they can't go back and try to take Eren back and get the Founding Titan again, because they have other things to deal with. And I think that's very interesting. Something I still don't understand is why they had to take uh, Fort Z uh, Slava back. I don't know if they had to take it back or if the Eastern uh, Middle Eastern Federation built it. I That's something I don't know how that happened, how who, which who took over or who built it. Um, and why it took it four years to keep that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you like what you see or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or a comment. I would really appreciate it and it would, and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Oh, yeah, they almost lost two more Titans. I thought, I would imagine so. Yeah, they know that they can defeat him now. Like, for real. I mean, for some people might consider this like, hey, that's good. Others, Mali probably is, is like, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's when shit goes down. Maybe in the future, who knows? <laughs> Golden Boy Zeke. I mean, I guess they have like other problems, right? Exactly. They will use the weakness. That will, that would like get their control back if they're like, hey, we have all our titans back. Then everyone's like, oh shit, <laughs> that's bad. Yeah, I think one of his abilities is that he can scream and activate the titan stuff in people, in aliens. Mm -hmm. Do we know that, that he is his former son? I can't remember, I think we don't know it. If we did, if we never heard it about before, then that's also something I know. <laughs> I, I already know that he is... Grisha's son, so basically his Aaron's brother. Wow. Like there are some information that I know. Basically, like like I said in the in episode one, the rumbling is something I know. And that he is Grisha's son, and I don't know if there's anything else that I know. If I if I get to the point where I realize oh I know that, then I will point it out. Is oh maybe the Grisha family is special? Oh, he doesn't know. Mm. 
Yeah, aliens are like complete trash to them. Oh yeah, they live only a certain time when they get the Titan power. Oh, so they sent ships and the ships never came back, is that what they mean? And so they have two Titans that take down the ships basically. And he is nightmares. Because he got fucked from Aaron, and Levi and everyone else. Oh, that's Galiad. Oh! Is the brother the one that got eaten by Ymir? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Like my brother? He? Are those names? <laughs> yeah, since the war is over, until the next war. Well, they get killed, <laughs> I guess. Why keep people that can transform into the titans? <clears throat> so Rana is like a hero for them? Like an idol? And Falco. Oh! Flashbacks. Berthold. Annie. I think I didn't saw Rainer. I mean, it would be weird if he saw himself as a child. <laughs> I guess the other dude was the brother that got eaten by Ymir. Raising Gabby. I mean, they call her Gabby. Gabby. Which is more like the German pronunciation for that name. I mean, she was badass. And how far she could throw those grenades, man. They must be like really happy that they are still alive. Until they get another suicide mission. <laughs> yep, maybe. I mean, she basically showed that she has balls. Wait, what? She'll only live to 27? And that's if an anti Titan, Titan shell isn't killing her first. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's their life, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Shit talking not allowed. <laughs> He's shitting his pants now. I mean, this is a really shitty situation where they are in, right? It's like, I guess he's a bit jealous maybe that she, that she has like, that she's in a good position to become the Titan, the armor Titan, because I guess he wants to be it too. Uh, let's see the information because they are important. Leaving home without an armament is sev uh, severely punished. Makes sense. Home sweet home. Man, she's really pumped. I mean, she almost got killed if she was a bit more unlucky. Used as a tool of war. <sighs> oh, are those the other ones? They're like caged in basically. Dude, they are not that different from that different from Paradise Island. They are also caged in behind like walls. Oh, more Yegas. And I, I really, I'm really looking forward to see more of Gabby, Gabby, because she is a badass. Oh, he has family too? I mean, it, I guess it makes sense, right? Interesting to see, like, Reiner's parents and stuff. Who's? Wait, wait, wait. The one with the, the second in the row, with the long brown he hair. That looks like Aaron. Is he infiltrating that place? How, if that's Aaron, how did he make it inside? How, what? Yeah, she's like, she's hyped about it. Thinking about that she might be the next armor titan. And that she can do the same. I mean, after what she did, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that impressed the people. That choose who becomes it. I don't think that's how it works. I think you... 
would still be treated as trash. So he spent five years. So he spends five years, so it's basically a four year time skip? Come on, dude. Don't talk shit. He's shit talking them now. I wonder if that's how he truly feels or if he just does it because he's now with his people. <laughs> Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin. <sighs> we aliens must be the one to stop the aliens. <laughs> Who jumped out of the window? I have to rewatch that. I think we don't know him. Looks like some random person. Yeah, I wonder if he is missing the others. Like I said, I, I wonder if that's true what he means. That it was hell for him. I mean, he was conflicted towards the end, right? If he forgot basically that he was a warrior. That's what it looks like. Yep. If, if you become useless, then they don't want you around anymore. Warhammer Titan. King Fritz. Oh, isn't Fritz? So much text again. Isn't Fritz basically royalty? The one that ate Aaron's mother? Within a year. Oh. They listen. So it seems like they maybe know that they that they are listened on. To be continued. Okay, that was episode two. And yeah, they reconfirmed basically that Titans become more useless because weapon advanced more and more and get stronger against Titan to the point that Titans, like I said, get more useless to the point that they might be irrelevant because they're not a threat to anyone anymore. And um, if that happens, it basically means that the aliens will get killed because why should Marley keep aliens around that can transform into titans that might endanger them if they have no use for them because right now they have a use for them they can use them as uh as uh um cannon fodder for like suicide missions or like for the titan powers and so basically zeke wants to go back to the island paradise island <clears throat> to get the founding titan back again wants to give it another shot so that if they succeed then they can reconfirm their strength towards the other countries by showing them, hey, here, we have all our titans back. And yeah, also, um, this episode basically confirmed, I guess, that they went on the mission nine years ago. They were five years on the island, on Paradise Island with Eren and the others. And then it's basically now four years later since then. So it's basically a four-year time skip. Um, so yeah, they came back. Everyone found out okay, they lost two more titans, now it's time to attack, and then the four-year war started. <clears throat> and, yeah, also they sent scout ships to the to Paradise Islands, which never came back. Which leads me to the conclusion that they maybe captured one ship and used it to sail over. Because, like I said, this one person in the background in this in this row of people looked like Aaron. Because I know that Aaron has now long hair and, like, a slight beard. So, looked like him, I would say, from the few pictures I've seen. But maybe it's not. But he looked very suspicious. Um, and if that's the case, then maybe they captured a boat and 
he went over with the boat uh, in secret. And yeah, that's interesting. Also interesting, Reiner says he is he hated his time on the island and with all the people. But he also said there are lots of different people. Or there, there were lots of different people. He didn't say demons or anything. He said people. So I guess he's just trash talking everything but i guess he isn't meaning it because at the end of the day aaron and others still were kind of like friends for five years right until shit hits the fan and they be went all out to get the fawning titan back um and i guess you can't just forget that stuff right so i think somewhere deep down he still has some feelings for aaron and others and isn't considering them purely as demons and stuff which Gabby, Gabby found weird that he called some people and you clearly saw the grandma or whatever didn't like it either because for those aliens that live in Mali, all the aliens on the island are bad. They basically are the the reason why they well why the aliens in Mali have it bad. Um and that's also the reason why Gabi wants to become the armor titan to go to the island and kill all the aliens there so that she can clear the name of the aliens in Mali, basically but i mean i don't think that's how it works i think if all the titans all the aliens on the island would be dead if that would ever happen then it wouldn't change anything for the aliens on Mali. they would still be considered trash basically and would be used for war and nothing else and if they have no use anymore then they probably would just just killed um would would just be killed and yeah also ymir went with went back with uh reiner and all and zeke and yeah she got captured now and apparently wants to give back the jaw titan so she basically dies mm -hmm. we will see how that turns out but yeah interesting episode again lots of stuff happened Oh yeah, uh, also when Zeke said, uh, not in this room, I think that's what the guy meant that Eve's dropped with something stood, uh, stood out and Reiner also said, said it again, like, not in this room, huh? Uh -huh. so um, I guess they want to talk about certain interesting parts somewhere else, but not in that room, because I guess they know that they got Eve's dropped on, um, but yeah, that's basically it, I guess, very interesting episode. And we will see how it continues. But yeah, if you like what you saw or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or comment. I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, till next time. Bye-bye.